you've ever used a macro or you've used a zoom lens of a really big aperture, one of the things you'll find is when you do the close-up shots like we have here, notice right now that the night is in focus. And then we go to the next shot. Notice that the focus is shifted to the bishop and the, and the pawn. So it's kind of like in the, the mid-ground. And then we go to the next one. Now the focus is on the king and the queen. But you can see that even in the short amount of distance, the focus can really, really change. Well, a fantastic new feature in Photoshop CS4 allows us to take these focuses and merge them together into a single image. So let's see how that works. What we're going to do is we're going to select all of them. But before we do, notice something too. Notice that these are not even perfectly aligned. It looks like I moved the camera a little bit on the tripod. So let's select them. And then we're going to use Edit. And then we're going to go to Auto Blend Layers. We have two options here. One we can do is we can choose Panorama, and it will create a nice seamless panorama. Or the op other option here is we want to stack the images. So we actually want to stack these together, and we're going to create seamless tones and colors. And we're going to click OK. So now what it's going to do is it's actually going to look at these images, and it's going to align them first of all, and then look at that. Now let's mask them all out and see how all of this is in focus now. See the focus is good on the knight, on the queen, the king, and the bishop. But notice there's a little bit of a blur there. So it doesn't do a perfect job of that. So this is what I would suggest doing. Let's just undo that. What we're going to do is we're going to go under Edit. And first of all, we're going to use Auto Align. And we're just going to keep this on the automatic setting. Click OK. And now what it will do is it will align these. So watch now. As we go through those, now they're perfectly aligned. And now we want to go and use the Auto Blend. So we're going to go up to Stack Mode, click OK. And we're going to apply it again. And this time, notice that we get an absolute seamless. There's no edges around there. Everything is merged together and perfectly aligned. So if you look at the focus here, the king and queen are in focus, the knight's in focus, the bishop, the pawns. And what I did is I created a little set here so we could actually go back in and have a look and see how it really was. This is how it was before. Notice the narrow dip of feel. Now look at that exp and here's the second photograph. The th third photograph, so look at that, how it's a very, very narrow dip of field. Turn that off, and then when you're stuck together, look at that. Look at that nice wide dip of field. So that's a great new feature in Photoshop CS4.